I am Dr. Ahmed Fool. I am uh, the head of geriatrics units in Rush Hospital in Dubai. Uh, in this uh, uh, in this time, we'll talk about dementia, and uh, as the the aim of this uh, presentation is for uh, not for physicians, it's for patients and the relatives. Uh, and I need to identify or to explain wh wh what's dementia and how how can I explain it to people, to to lay people, to normal people. Uh, dementia is not only a problem of memory. It's a problem of what we call cognitive functions. And uh, you need to understand what's cognitive functions. Simply, cognitive functions are the functions of the brain that allows us to interact with the environment around us, to interact with people around us, to go to our work, to take care of ourselves. So if there's impairment in these functions, uh, it will affect our life. So I need to go through uh, these uh, uh, cognitive functions one by one. <clears throat> the first one is memory. Simply, uh, memory is like videotape. Uh, when you videotape uh, an event, it has a beginning and it has an end. And when you erase the f a part of this tape, you will get loss of the content of the tape. The, our memory is exactly like a videotape. Uh, when you erase the few hours, the last few hours, you will not remember if I ask you, if you come, if you are a patient coming to, my, to me in the clinic, and I ask you, where are you now? You will say, I'm at home, because your memory did not register the last two hours while you was uh, uh, in the road to come to the clinic. And the memory in dementia started to erase from the recent events backwards. So you can um, miss or lose years from your life if you get dementia. To the extent that you will forget your children and probably you will forget your, your, your wife. Uh, but we can find many demented patients who are still in the family and interacting with their children. But in fact, they, they consider these people are the most close to them, but they do not recognize the relation to them. They do not differentiate between the son and the neighbor and the wife, and the wife of, of his son. Uh, uh, so uh, the, the memory uh, disturbance is one uh, of the, of the uh, cognitive functions. And now I'm going to speak about the language. Uh, language is one of the higher cortical functions or the cognitive functions. And God created a dictionary in our memory, in, in our brain, in order to, when somebody to speak to me, I can understand the meaning of his words by getting into this dictionary and get the meaning. If this dictionary gets erased, the language that I hear from others will, ha will start to have no meaning. The words will start to have no meaning. And also, when I want to speak, I will get some words to express my ideas from the same dictionary. So I cannot speak in a language that others can understand because I have to invent new words which are not in language. So the communication between a demented person and a normal person will be very difficult, which is very stressful for a uh, demented elderly. The third uh, cognitive function is praxis. Praxis means the ability to use our hands and arms to do the jobs that we, 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 we are in, in, everyday, in everyday use. And especially in using tools like toothbrush, like spoons, like knives, like using telephone, so inability to use the tools is uh, one of the uh, misses that faces the patient with uh, dementia, which um, affects the daily living and the instrumental activities of daily living, that's the ability to use in instruments. Uh, the other thing is calculation. The demented person uh, cannot do calculations. That's why he cannot go and buy and sell, because he cannot calculate how much money will remain and he cannot take care of his financial affairs also. Uh, uh, one of the important things is the visuospatial ability loss. What we mean by visuospatial ability is the signs in the road. When you, when you go in the road, 
you, you uh, especially the area around your house, you recognize that I'm approaching my house because this is the building, uh, the green building is on the, right, on the left hand side, a better station on my right hand side. So it automatically build in, in your brain. But when you lose these signs of the road, we call it visual special ability loss. The, the, the signs in the road has been lost. That's why we can find elderly people get lost and wander in the street. Lost on the street because the, the area in which he used to live many years now, these signs become non-significant for him. He cannot recognize the place. Um, also, when, when you come to park your car between two cars, you cannot adjust, you cannot cal calculate exactly if your car can fit in the place or not. Also in the house, the patient, the patient who is dementia loses his, his way to the bathroom because also the signs in the home he, or the house he used to live many years now become non-significant to him. The last thing is all this translate in what we call executive function. When we want to do any action or any, any, any action or to do any plan like going to grocery to buy uh, some goods, uh, we have to check our plan and uh, to check if we are doing mistakes in choosing our goods. So if you take the thing that you don't like, you can't replace it by something else. And you don't take the same thing twice. Uh, so that if you take the same thing twice, you don't have the ability to check that you take it before. When, it's, when you get something that you don't want, you, you, you cannot check that you, you have been selected something that you don't want. So this executive functions problem is very evident. That's why the, the, the demented person cannot make omelette for himself because he cannot plan how to make omelette. He cannot make a cup of tea because he cannot plan. He cannot check that an error probably he can bring a glass suitable for wine to, to pour tea in, in this one and it will break. So he cannot recognize that he chose the wrong glass. That's why. So this is executive function problems is affects all the dimensions the patients in, with dementia, all the dimensions of life patients with dementia. And one of the good things that uh, has good impact or good effect is training, is mental training using puzzle. And especially but because puzzles, when you choose the wrong base and place it, you have to check that this is wrong and you change it by another one which is, which is correct. By using the puzzle as a mean of training your brain to, to enhance or to improve your, your executive function, uh, probably it will have an impact on normal life. And if you need to listen to more presentations about problems with aging, uh, uh, you can uh, go to forgetmenot.org. Thank you so much.